Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to create the report definitions and uh, these report definitions will plot the, the monitors for the these points. And uh, also I'm going to save the these files and you can use these files and open them in Excel and plot them also as well in the Excel. So these points, these three points, which are x is equal to 56, y is 32. Second point, same x but different y. And third point is the same y of the second point but the different x. And the idea is simple that I want to get the points after the this uh, mixing part. So the one is near to the this point. So this is around uh, if I take a value of x. So it is around uh, 32 plus 16, 48. And uh, 48 and the half of this uh, will be equal to the 8. So 48 and plus 8 will be 56. And the height of this uh, channel is the 16 plus 16 plus 32. 16 plus 16 will be 32. So you can see that the first point is just after the this file equation. And second point is uh, 32 plus the again the 32 plus 12. So 32 plus uh, 16 in fact. So half of this channel which is uh, this uh, vertical pipe length. So 16 plus 16 plus 16 48. So I created these points in this way. And uh, all these points on the symmetry plane that is uh, when the z is equal to 0. So I didn't uh, pl plot these points or these values on the some the location because the x-symmetry would be the, the best location to monitor these parameters. So here I'm going to create the report definitions and uh, they, they are true for the report files and report plots. So plot will be displayed in the screen here and the files will be written on the hard disk and uh, which you can open in the excel and plot them as well or if you want you can uh, directly copy the plots from the screen and uh, paste them in your files like in the thesis report maybe presentation or in a better way if you plot them in excel so you can have the, some nice plots here also so anyhow right click on report definitions and uh, i am going to create the Surface report, there are many report formats here, volume report, force support, there is for drag, lift, momentum. And the first support that is uh, per unit uh, area square. Here I'm going to create the surface report and since it's a point, so I'm going to create the vertex average. For the line, I'm going to maybe create a line average or the integral over the line. And uh, for static pressure, I would be going for the area weighted average. For total pressure where the, it depends on the mass flow rate, I am going to create the mass average, weighted average. And uh, for these point values, I am going to create the vertex average. And uh, the first thing I am going to see is the vertex average here. And second thing I am going to plot the temperature because temperature is the most important parameter in this simulation. Because we have here the mixing of the hot and cold fluid. So temperature would be the most important parameter and also it will give you the, the proper direction for the flow convergence because once the temperature are there, they are converged to the, to the some constant value and uh, so the velocity and the pressure because temperature depends on the velocity. So once the velocity is stabilized, then the temperature can be stabilized. So that's why I'm going to monitor the temperature here. And this is going to be the, the static temperature, let's say, but for the total temperature also, this is a good indication, ind indicator. So here I'm going to plot the, the static temperature and uh, that would be on the, my this point location. So uh, make it on the side. And first of all, I will create the, these points. So you can go to the, let's say to the, to the results. And uh, from results, click on create and then click on the point. So we have the dialog box for the point here. And uh, I'm going to create these points which are here shown here. So first point is x is equal to 56 and they should be in the inches. So make sure that we have the you know system set as inches 56 and 
32 and z is 0. So let's say this is a point number. So you can put the name also the point number 1. And if you want, you can also put the value 5632 to distinguish that the, you are talking about this point which is uh, with these location of x and y. Click on create. Second point at the same x location but the y location is 48. So I will I will call this one as a point 2. And create. And the third point is x60 and the y is equal to 48. So x60 and uh, y is equal to 48 same. This is a point number 3. And create. And uh, you can see now that we have uh, these points displayed over here. Point 1, point 2, point 3. And if you want, you can also manage them. These points, you can delete them from the screen. You can rename them also here. So let's say I put the name as a 10 and just click on rename. And if you want, I can also delete these points from the these surfaces. So anyhow, I, I have these three points. I'm now going to create the monitors for these points. And the variable temperature and the report type is a vertex average of on the first point. Also click on report file, report plot. And the frequency is after the one iteration and print to console. Print to console means that it's, this will print on the on the this text user interface over here. So this will be plotting the value also on the here. So the one monitor will be it will be writing the data on the in the file. Second, it will create the monitors on the screen like the we have the convergence plot for the residuals. And also when we click on the print to console, this will print them on the screen along with the different variables like the momentum and the continuity equation. So it is a fast uh, for the first uh, point. Click on OK and this will automatically uh, create the, the its own window. So click on OK here and then again go back here report definition right click here and uh, click on create new surface report. Again the same vertex average and uh, temperature as a variable point number two report file report plot and the print to console and frequency that is after the one iteration for the transient case when we are solving on the uh, time step base so we can also define them on the based on time step or maybe on the flow time so again click on ok and third time go for the again the same thing here surface report and the vertex average and uh, this time again, this is uh, temperature, but on point number three, report file, report plot, and print to console. And you can see that we report definition zero, which is for point one. Definition one is a point number two. And, if we, and definition three, definition two will be for the point number three. And click on OK. And now you can see that we have the report files. These three files for three points. We report uh, plots for these three points. And uh, once we start to run the solution, this will be displayed also on the graph and the, in the text user interface.